Hello crafters, this is Julia Fair and Fair's Craft Lair, and you can find me and shop with me at juliafair.stampinup.net, and my current host code is listed up here. If you're interested in anything you see today and you're looking for a demonstrator, I would love to assist you. We are just wrapping up celebration. We have a few days left, about a week left, and I wanted to show you some really cool ideas that I had as far as being able to um, work with... Um, work with a 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper. There are some really easy ways to um, get a whole bunch of cards out of one sheet of paper. And I wanted to show you that today. So the first thing that I wanted to, to, to teach you about is how to actually cut up a piece of this paper. Um, and you'll get 12 equal sizes. If you've never done that before, it's pretty easy. And I'm just gonna show you, cause I've already, I've already cut up my paper, but I'm gonna show you where, where to do this. Okay, on your cutter, my cutter's on the other side of my table right now. Ooh. There we go, my trimmer. All right. So the first thing that you'd want to do, you're gonna tr you're gonna cut these. I want it to face this way, so I would cut it three inches with the um, with the paper facing up. Okay, three inches. Cut that piece off. Then slide it over, do it again, three inches. And you're gonna do that three times because it's 12 inches across. So cutting it the three inches three times, you'll end up with four pieces, four, four, um, four strips of paper, okay? Then you're gonna turn it, and this is pretty easy to do. On all the strips, you're gonna cut them at four inches instead. So, and you're only gonna do that twice, but four goes into 12 three times. So you make two cuts and you'll have um, all your pieces then. You do two, I'm sorry, you do two cuts on each strip. And on the on this trimmer you might be able to get two, two of those strips to cut at a time. Um, but you, So you cut three inches in the first direction and then you, you do that three times and then four cut at four inches in the other direction. And you will end up with 12 it, exactly the same size piece of paper. Okay? This piece of paper back and I'll show you what I did because I have them I have them laid out but I did the um, the really pretty painted seasons one okay um, so these are my these are six of them okay and I made a mat to go under them with cardstock so here is the first row Okay, so this is the 12 by 12 DSP. This is the opposite side, all right? And then I just cut this an eighth inch bigger. Um, and so I used a, one piece of cardstock. I think I got six of them out of one piece of cardstock. And then I had some leftover. And with the leftover, I, um, I w I've been using them to punch different shapes out and I'll show you that. So this is um, six of them, so that's half of my papers that I cut. And I'm gonna set those aside for the moment because I'm gonna show you um, what I did with the first one. We're actually gonna be working with the sending, um, the dandelion wishes today, um, stamping with that. So I wanted to um, show you, we're gonna make six different cards. And I laid this out. They're gonna look very different, okay? Um, but it's based on what colors are in the paper. So this is a berry burst sheet of cardstock. And, um, and again, it's just an eighth inch. So it's three and one eighth by four and one eighth to go on a three by four. So then it gives you a little bit of a mat around the edges. Okay. And that's going to be our, so that's first one powder pink. That's a color that's in the cardstock. Um, berry burst is not listed, but if you look closely at this paper, it's it's in there. It's in there. So um, this is just a white mat with the other side, okay, with the berry burst frame. Then I did mango, or not mango, I'm sorry, grapefruit grove, which is the darker color of the powder pink, or petal pink. I'm sorry, it's pe petal pink. Um, so you can get a brighter one or a darker, lighter one. Um, and then I just did the white mat with this then too. Okay, so that's four. Then I pulled out the lemon lime twist that's in here. Five. And then the pool party, six. 
So I have six different looks, six different color palettes based on what, um, what I'm pulling out of the paper. So I can pull out different colors in the paper and end up with completely different cards. But it's the exact same size paper and it's the exact same size mat um, with cardstock around it and it's the exact same color. So I just opted for that because it worked really well. Now I can do, I was going to be doing the same thing with these six as well. So you can see the green, this is Call Me Clover. It really accents the Grapefruit Grove um, and Petal Pink really well. And it does the same thing here for this one. So I'd be opting for very similar colors. It's, um, it's just gonna pull out a little bit of different stuff. Now I could probably do a Berry Burst, um, but if you see, here, let me show you. I'm gonna put this matted on this one. You can see the colors there. That's pretty awesome. Okay. I'm still going to go with the Berry Burst ones today. But I'm just showing you the different mats on these. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, and then so my stamping, I do a few different colored choices in order to make this work a little bit better. But you see how that, that's so cool. So I'd be adding a little bit more green and then adding more of the orange to make that kind of meld together. This one's gonna be really cool. Look at that, I love that, it's so fun. But I love the berry burst that's actually in it and that's gonna work great too, okay. So, and then um, this is already, I did this one already with the white. So that's with the, because I showed you that one. That's just the other side then. Okay. And then the petal pink. Which is going to look amazing as well. So I would even just use the same six color cardstock. Um, but I'd use my the mats with the Call Me Clover, but for today we're going to stick with the Berry Burst. I wanted to give you a little bit of something to work with, okay? And I ended up with one really skinny long scrap that I can use on these cards, um, and then a whole bunch of, like a little bit of smaller ones, but I made some extras um, of some punches just so that um, I'm ready to go for you guys. So I just took my scraps and I punched a bunch of shapes in white and berry burst and lemon lime twist for now. If I need something else, I'll definitely go get that, but um, I just wanted to have that ready for you guys. All right, so let's start with this one. So the first thing that we can do is adhere our frame nice and even on here. Adhere it in the middle, making sure that that's straight. Fold my card base, my phone folder. All right. Of course, it's not quite straight, but that's all right. And then I didn't get these set up either. Let's do, I made a wish and you came true. I may need some bigger shapes and that's fine. I'll get some, Oop. wrong drawer. Let me get my Fairy Burst ink. You could also just stamp this in um, basic black or tuxedo. See the black and that'd be fine. I made a wish and you came true. Let's um, stamp that on there. It's breakfast time in our household, so you're probably gonna be getting a lot of um, sound effects going on. Okay, and you've seen me do this before. 
um, but to frame frame this guy out I'm going to use two of the berry burst and I'm going to put this this punch you don't want to cut it in half it's not quite the same I've tried to cut it in half and it didn't really work all that well so I don't want you guys doing that too so if you need if you're going to frame it out with the top and the bottom you want to make sure that you actually put two of these on here okay so and there we go all right the other thing that I'm going to do I'm going to take some of my petal pink and I just want a couple dandelion wisps I could have done this first, but I just wanted to get this, get a card together for you guys. Okay, I'm going to put a couple wisps underneath and a couple wisps on top. There you go. And I could even put them, a couple of them in the corner. Actually, let's do that. I don't think it's really going to affect anything. A couple of them in that corner. And a few of them in this corner. Maybe a couple more going there. Okay, and I really should have stamped first, but I'm I'm I haven't I'm designing for you guys on camera. And I like being able to do that as well. Okay, so we're gonna leave that to the side. And now I'm just going to layer this up with some dimensionals. So I'm going to finish this one card for you guys on camera right now. I'm not going to finish every single card today on camera. I'm going to show you some different techniques on how to layer them differently and orient them differently so that you get different looks. Okay. So this is one, one way that you could do this very easily. And let's put you up here. I made a wish and you came true. That's great. I also forgot. I have some really pretty very burst ribbon that I could have easily put on here and I would have maybe done around the corner like that or up underneath like that. Okay, so I'll come back to the ribbon in a little bit and show you guys that. Okay, but this card looks really cute on its own. It has a little bit of stamping, two colors, and it's super easy to do. So that's card number one. Hello again. Um, so my board was sliding off camera and I had recorded everything and I was planning on doing it on camera for you guys. Um, and I got this card done, but I um, <laughs> went back and looked at my video and I was pretty much stamping off camera. So I'm just going to share with you guys what I did. So this one, the mat was nice and even. I did the same thing with this. You guys saw this on camera. So here's a variation on how you can do that. Okay, so I changed the background. I didn't do the stamping on the sides, but I spun these two pieces and they're offset. So the mat is offset and I can just put my sentiment on there. If I wanted to, I could add stamping in the corners. I don't have to. I certainly could and it'd be really cute and pretty, but that would be card number two. It's just to off offset the mat from the actual pattern paper. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm on camera so that you guys can see me, good. Okay, so that would be card number two. All right, card number three, of course, this is a variation as well. Okay, so the mat's the same as what it was. I just added a ribbon, and then we can put our sentiment that way, all right? So that would be card number three. Very easy, very simple. If I wanted to, I could make this the same color and then still color it, um, stamp in the very burst as well. So um, all I did was add a ribbon, and I adhered it with some glue dots from behind, okay? Card number four, I did the ribbon on the corners instead. And I could do it two different ways. I could orient my card this way. And I can also orient my card this way. 
and I get to choose where I want my sentiment. Do I want it up here? Do I want it down here? Um, it could be either way, all right? But the mat is the same. I just added a ribbon and look at how much the difference is in what, what, the, what the card looks like, okay? And especially, this is the other side of the paper too. So you get so many design options. All right, back to our offset frame. I added a ribbon across the middle this time and I just put that right in the middle like that. And I could tie a bow and put it on the bottom. That adds some interest as well. Okay, so this is another great way how to make, make your stuff do more. All right, and card number six. I changed the orientation. All of them were vertical on this up until this point. I turned it horizontal, okay? I added my stamping, and I put a ribbon around this before I adhered it on. And what I would do would put that right there and that would be our card design. So all of these cards will be finished and they will be on my blog. Um, I have to, I'm just using this one as the example because I wanted to make sure I got, got these cards out to you guys and showed you the differences in, in how your stamping can, oh, it's just so cool. All these cards look completely different. It's very simple, um, very easy to be able to change one or two elements and get a completely different look. But all of these have the exact same paper and the exact same mat for that paper. I'm only using one ribbon. I'm using two ink colors. If I'm not using this petal pink, I'd be using the berry burst, okay? So pretty easy like that. I could add like the, the pool party or the lemon lime twist if I really wanted to, um, but I don't really think I need that. So you, you don't need a lot of supplies in order to make your cards look different. And that was kind of my point here. Again, I could, the other six cards that I could do or have, I could simply um, change the matte color and get a completely different look. And I had shown you guys this to begin with. Um, so I wanna make sure that you guys see that. Um, I will be getting to these probably on Wednesday. Um, to show you the other six, but I wanted to show you a video today on how to cut your paper and make sure that you guys knew that even with just the same element, you can make cards that are completely different. So if you guys have any questions, I'm always here. I'd love to be able to get, um, to get your feedback and to see your designs if I'm inspiring you or getting um, giving you any ideas on how you can make your own cards. But be sure to go check out my blog. It's juliafair.blogspot.com. And if you're, again, looking for a demonstrator to shop with, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, and I'd love to hear from you guys and be able to see what you're doing. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.